Breaking news update now, 11 Mid-South children are forced to live a life without their mothers and fathers after a tragic plane crash. All three couples were from Oxford and their deaths are having a big impact on the Mid-South. WREG's Michael Quanda reports on how loved ones and community members are rallying around one another for support. Dramatic cell phone video shows the fiery wreck that killed three Oxford couples in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. It's tragic, you know. Those who knew the victims still shocked. Jason and Leah Faris, Michael and Kim Perry, and Austin and Angie Poole, four of them dentists with offices across the Mid-South. Power prayer is my tools. The Farises and Perrys each leave behind three children, while the Pools leave five, 11 kids in total, now parentless. Gotta have faith in that God has a plan for those children and that he was such a good person that something good has to come of this. Just powerful, the suffering that, that the kids are going to have, that the families are going to have, that the grandparents are going to have. Peter Martin is a counselor in Oxford, feeling the effects of this tragedy. Who wouldn't have crying at this time? Who wouldn't feel lonely? Who wouldn't feel empty? I mean, the sense of isolation that these families must feel. And Martin says this deadly crash may leave people depressed, angry, or in denial. He says the best way to work through the pain is to avoid trying to do it on your own. People need to talk about it uh, with people that they trust. Grief counselors are on standby at schools in Oxford, and community members say they're coming up with ways to support the family. It's, it's tough. I mean, it, it's a strong community, though. I mean, they're going to pull through. I just hopefully everybody can help watch the kids, make sure they're okay, and I think everybody will be fine. Reporting in Oxford, Michael Quander, WREG, News Channel 3. Federal investigators are at the crash site in Alabama working to get to the bottom of what caused that crash. A preliminary report should be released in about 10 days, we're told.